Thanks for watching and today I would like to talk about a very neat way of solving systems of equations which people hate. Well, I don't understand why they hate it because it's a beautiful formula even though I have to admit in computations it's, it's a, a nightmare to compute. But I really like it. It's called Kramer's rule and it's a very neat way of solving ax equals b. So let's do that. Let's solve ax equals b where a is 1, 2, 3, 4 and b is, let's say, 1, 0. Here's the cool thing, so it gives you an explicit way of solving this equation using determinants. And how do you find this? What is the explicit way? Namely, all you do, you take a quotient of two determinants. The denominator is always a, the determinant of a. To find the numerator, all you do for the first variable, you replace the first column of A by B. So it's like A, except the first column here becomes 1, 0, and then 2, 4. And then you calculate it. So you get 4, the determinant is 1 times 4 minus 0 times 2, and the denominator is 1 times 4 minus 2 times 3, so it becomes minus 2 and that becomes minus 2. So you see it exactly gives you x1. And then well x2, again the denominator is still a. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And this time you replace the second column by b. So 1, 0 and then just 1, 3. So it's like the matrix A except the first the third column, I'm sorry, the second column is B. And then you calculate that, so you get minus 3, and then 4 minus 6, that's a minus 2, and that's 3 halves. And ta-da! This gives you your solution. So X is minus 2 and minus 3 halves. How neat is that? I know, I love it. But on the other hand, yes, it's awesome for two by two systems, but it's completely awful for three by three systems because on the one hand, on the denominator, you have a three by three matrix, which is already a pain to calculate. And uh, the numerator will become three, three by three matrices, where you replace the first column by B, the second column by B and the third column by B. So in general, it's a pain, but I think for two by two systems, it's very cute. And also a neat consequence, if B has integers and A has determinant one, then the denominator is just one, and which means that all the solutions will be integers. So it's a cool way of finding integer solutions to equations. All right, that's it. And then, you know, if you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.